Raise your hand if you've ever been in a fight with a family member. Now keep your hand raised if in that, fam in that fight you knew you were in the right. Yeah, me too, I'm always right. <laughs> My name is Sophie Ward and today I will be discussing empathy, virtual reality, and how the two can play a role in one another's life. Virtual reality can help humans become more empathetic. How so? Well today I will be looking into an article where taking a more hands-on approach to understanding one another can help us become more empathetic. Here are some definitions to know before we get into the article. As we learned in chapter five of our textbook, empathy occurs when we experience a similar emotional reaction to someone else. Similarly, traditional perspective taking is the ability to understand how someone else is feeling. For example, when someone asks you to walk a mile in their shoes. Uh, Mediated perspective taking is when a technological medium has been introduced to that face-to-face, -face, such as images or virtual reality. Uh, which leads me to my next step definition, immersive virtual environments. These are systems in which participants are able to see, hear, and touch. So the article that I researched was Building Long-Term Empathy, a Large-Scale Comparison of Traditional and Virtual Reality Perspective Taking. This article was conducted by Fernanda Herrera, Jeremy Bailson, Erica Wiese, Elise Ogle, and Jamil Mizuki. The goal of the study was to see if a more immersive approach would result in higher levels of empathy. In the research, virtual reality is seen as the ultimate empathy machine because you're able to step into any situation and live it out in the first person. The researchers wanted to see how virtual reality would affect people and if it would allow them to be more empathetic towards the homeless. So in the study, the groups were split into two groups. The first group was the traditional group, and this group was just given information through packets and statistics, and participants were told to use their imagination of what it would be like to be homeless. They didn't receive any pictures and received like no stimuli, so they were just hearing information and reading information. The second group was the mediated group, and this group played interactive desktop games and were able to make decisions as a homeless person, and they were also put into immersive virtual environments where they were able to have a first-hand experience of being homeless in a virtual reality scene. So what were the results of the study? The more immersed participants were, the more empathetic they seemed to be towards the homeless. Although the traditional group was still showed empathy, the group that was in the virtual reality rooms uh, showed overall a more positive long-term attitude and were more likely to vote on bills that supported homeless, the homeless population, yeah. So how does this relate to me? My grandpa Peter and I often do not see eye to eye in our personal decisions, and we also tend to yell and accuse when communicating with one another. My ultimate goal of the research project was to hopefully find ways to communicate with him better. Um, but after reading this article, I realized I might just need to be a little more empathetic towards him. Um, if I was able to really immerse myself into my grandpa's situation and understand what he's going through, I might be able to improve our relationship. I took a step back and saw what he's going through in his day to day. And I also was able to talk to him about my struggles. And this allowed me to realize that empathy is really important in communication. Um, and that's how it can help our communication. So uh, being able to relate to others is just one of the ways we can improve our communication. And although we can't play video games of one another's lives, we are able to take a step back and just really like put yourself in someone else's perspective just to be a little more kind. 